Stephen Flynn. Madam Deputy Speaker, in Scotland, the Scottish Government has just enshrined in law the right of the children. It has just announced plans to nationalise our rail fleet and, of course, is giving NHS staff a 4% pay increase. That is, of course, in contrast to the UK Government, who are seeking to restock the nuclear arsenal and increase it, who are moving forward with plans to limit peaceful protest and, of course, who are giving NHS, pay staff, uh, NHS staff just a 1% pay increase. Increase. So should we not, in this Parliament, have a debate on the most important of issues, a tale of two governments? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Gentleman is brave to wish to bring to this House a discussion of two governments. There are all sorts of things that I could be tempted to say about the government uh, currently in Scotland and all the extraordinary shenanigans that are going on there. Who said what to whom and when and where? Who may or may not have... Um, put pressure on prosecutors, all sorts of things that are going on. It's all pretty unsatisfactory, and it's lucky that there are elections coming up. But I would point out that devolution, devolution has the benefit of the strength of the United Kingdom behind it. That's why the UK taxpayer has been able to provide £12.12 .12 billion to Scotland during the course of the pandemic. United Kingdom taxpayers, the Honourable Gentleman chums us away from a sedentary position. I know the people of Scotland pay taxes, particularly high taxes, because of the rapacious left-wing government that it's got that likes to take money from them. But it is the UK taxpayer combined that has provided this £12.2 billion, that has supported 779,500 jobs, that has provided 78% of the tests that have been done in Scotland have been then processed in the rest of the United Kingdom, has supported over 157,000 people on the self-employed scheme. The strength of the United Kingdom is quite extraordinary. Scotland benefits from that, and that is why it is able to afford to do the other things that the Honourable Gentleman has mentioned.